Toonsmith here reminding you to tune it up, tune it in. And if they say tune it down, tune them out. Anyway, this is Toon World NYC, and I'm the Toonsmith. And the day out of the Red Tune Collection, I was just digging into these tunes from the album Her Story, right? This album is hot, Younger May is hot, and the reason why she hot is because she definitely reps NYC very well. You know what I'm saying? It holds it down for Red Life set that she's always repping. She definitely walks the walk and talks the talk. And the thing I like about Younger May is that she sets the stage for the conversation uh, about the history of hate that centers around LGBT community. And a lot of the hate is centered around fear. And a lot of people talk about fear uh, talk about their fear of LGBT community or they fear of somebody that could rap and also is a part of the LGBT community. And a lot of this is not even, you know what I'm saying, uh, open for discussion in hip hop, but it's important to have artists that's able to set the stage and, you know, influence the younger people in that way to where they don't have to have those fears or those social anxieties or stresses, you know what I'm saying? So I encourage people to go out there and definitely listen to Young and May's album. Uh, this this particular album was released April 27, 2017. And um, it's an aw awesome album. Check it out. Like I said, she definitely walks the walk and talks the talk. I'm talking about Young and May. And the album is Her Story. Uh, the topic of the day, the tune topic of the day, tune topic of the day is Street Dreams. All right? The tune topic of the day is Street Dreams. And um, a lot of people are fascinated with the topic, with the rubric. You know, rubric is like a heading, something that has something. And uh, when the topic is Street Dreams, a lot of people think of it in this glamorous fashion of uh you know women and luxury cars and and you know uh, uh tons of drug money and uh sort of glamified through music but a lot of times what's presented in the tunes don't actually reflect the street life that's associated with uh street dreams because street dreams a lot of the times are uh, is associated with the youth trying to get off of the streets and a lot of times uh, what hinders a person from elevating off of the streets is not engaging in the necessary activities sometimes their friends and family don't really support them they can have uh, a mis disillusionment from street life uh, a lot of times the youth are going through emotional struggle I remember going through those type of struggles myself and being young and um you know being it being sort of being engaged in that type of environment uh with drugs and alcohol and needing income assistance and not having the proper income assistance in order to uh feed myself and just keep shelter so a lot of times that's what it was and um a lot of times the drugs actually are responsible for the lack of support or the life skills that a person may have. And, uh, you know, a youth trying to get off the streets may use drugs and, uh, you know, because they feel like a failure and they fail even more completely because of that. Uh, you know, youth homelessness is uh, prevalent in major cities all across um, America, all across conflict ridden America. It's uh, leaving these situations is uh, very hard, but one way to prevent it. Uh, last time I talked about runaways and what I wanted to talk about was um, I talked about runaways and drug abuse and also that finding in that it may be difficult to meet certain needs. And because of the fact that they ran away and uh, drug abuse, they may also uh, sort of counter it by going into a life of crime or prostitution. So if you have someone that's run away from home, I encourage you to reach out to that person, man, and contact that person. And if you have difficulties 
finding a way to reach out to that person, please dial 1-800-RUNAWAY. And uh, the website for that is 1-800-RUNAWAY.org for frequently asked questions and uh, answers to those questions. You know, and uh, ask me the Toonsmith. You know, I'm the Toonsmith. So ask me, what would you want to happen if you're out there and you're a runaway? You know, what kind of uh, what kind of home life would you like to have? Or, um, you know, a lot of the times it's a lot of transgender people that's caught up in those situations. And um, what I like to say is to uh, take responsibility, uh, take responsibility by imagining what type of life you would like to have. Okay, so moving along more young and may you know what i'm saying the uh is the what the fuck moment of the day you know what i'm saying what the fuck man you know what i'm saying it's not the uh pentagon ufo programs or death by genocide inside the united nations but it's the what the fuck moment of the day and what the fuck a man was shot outside of 6 9 celebrity dinner. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of 6 9 did you know that Nicki Minaj's brother is uh, trying to get a pardon on his sentence, which he was uh, sentenced for similar crimes as 6 9 and is now uh, serving 25 years to life, I believe, and um, is actually trying to get a remodification of the sentence and um 6ix9ine is actually uh but outside of the celebrity dinner 6ix9ine's bodyguard I guess was um shot and I'm sorry to hear that you know uh condolences to 6ix9ine if you out there be safe man because I don't know, you know, what's going on, but it's a lot of hate, man. A lot of hate sometimes when you, uh, you know, battling to maintain success. You know what I'm saying? Because when you low, everybody love you. You know what I'm saying? They love you because, you know, you haven't used your talent yet. You know what I'm saying? So when you low, everybody love you. You know what I mean? That's why it's all about creative destruction, and that's why I love 6 9 man. You know what I'm saying? And that's why that's the what the fuck moment of the day. You know? It's the Tune Smith reminding you to tune it up, tune it in. And if they say tune it down, tune them out.